I'm here with Alexandra Stapleton, and she is going to teach us how to make this beautiful sign that you could hang, obviously, in your home, in your workspace, whatever yeah. it is, to motivate you. And a donut is a motivator for oh, me. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yep, and they're completely customizable. So whatever right. your decor scheme is, whatever your occasion is. Whatever size is, is you could do a big square, a exactly. circle, an oval, whatever you want so that it can right. fit the space that you need it to. Yes. So uh, we're going to be making the donut one. Okay. And I've already cut out my design onto some black vinyl. Uh, so I've done a kiss cut so it's not cut through on that other side. It's just through the top layer of the vinyl. And the first thing you want to do is weed. And I know people always talk about weeding, but basically you want to remove any of the negative that you don't want to put onto your sign. So the first thing I like to do is take out my centers. All so. those inside parts. And I always tell people exactly. that weeding is just like you what you would do in gardening. Can I take your garbage for oh, you? That would, would that be, be a good crafty Thank friend? You. And actually one of the things I often do when I'm weeding is I take a base piece like this big one and I stick the other pieces That's exactly. onto it keep, keep so going. that you just keep it going. And if you were really thrifty, you could save all those letters that you're weeding out, per certainly put them onto a backing paper of some kind, right? and then reuse them for something. You absolutely could. But if you're cavalier like we are, <laughs> you just put them in a pile and throw them away. Yes. <laughs> so when you have taken all of those pieces out and then you peel off the larger piece, mm -hmm. you have your donut sign. Thank you. So um, the next thing we want to do is put it onto our white Can I tell you piece. that this is a true story. The donut would always be eaten in my house Ooh. halfway so oh yeah i good, know it's a fun little one so um i'm using just a wood board that i bought um you did can, you paint it it, it looks came like painted, painted like that oh. um i would suggest you prep it with something just to avoid um dust and things so mm -hmm. and again you can customize you can rub things into it you could add crackle you could do anything so if i can get you to help i'm happy to help could you trim along oh yeah this is the... Look, I feel like this is an actual skill job. I thought you just wanted me to hold something, <laughs> but actually the lines on it make it easy to cut straight. Yeah. And use non-stick scissors because it makes your life so much easier. I didn't even think about mm -hmm. that. You know, I have so many scissors that are gummed up from cutting sticky things. Yeah. Uh, non-stick scissors that. are your best crafty friend. So again, you're going to really kind of just hammer this down. And I was going to say, on a piece this large, I often use my thumb to go sort of get stuff to mm -hmm. pick to a transfer sheet, but it's much easier to use a brayer or something a like brayer, that. A brayer, a scraper, anything like and that. And I do notice you're working on top of the board, which is pretty textured, and you're not worried at all about no, that. No, it will super easy. So I like to peel away the backing release sheet from the transfer tape. I find that it makes my life so, so much easier. So you can see there, I'm just... So when people always ask, why do you use a transfer sheet? I feel like this is the evidence because to line up each of these letters to get the spacing right again would be so hard. Right, and you've got the grid lines printed straight onto the transfer tape. So it's really, really easy. So again, it also allows you to reposition it and you want to leave a little bit of room at the bottom so we can put those donuts on. I forgot about the donuts. I can't forget about those so donuts. Cool. Now, is this a permanent adhesive on her or are we gonna take it off? It? Can, if we changed our mind or something this one is a permanent one but you can get removable ones you can get temporary ones so if you're just decorating for thanksgiving you can redecorate that board for christmas oh my gosh. yes you could just have one board exactly. that goes in one place like the holiday it's almost you know what it reminds me of is when you put a flag up in front of your house for all the different holidays mm -hmm. and months you could have a board that you use and you just change it up every year right and you could keep these transfer sheets in the release paper and just keep putting them on and off. so smart and then you don't have to do new nail holes or anything exactly i love it so i like to to leave these probably for a minute or two um, the adhesive then starts to cure and it really sticks to a surface particularly a textured one but you're then going to um, peel away that transfer mm -hmm. tape which is going to give I you I was going to say if it doesn't stick all the way like that did you just rub again yeah just keep going back and you'll peel it away till you get to it's beautiful. the finished donut. And I also have here my donut pieces. So I've already cut three out using my electronic cutter. I can oh, have some glittery. space, glittery as well. And then I also cut the icing. Also glittery. I have to say, once I found out there was edible glitter, I started putting it on cookies <laughs> and all kinds of things because it's just so fun. And of course, you can now get it to put in your drinks too. Really? So you can have glittery Prosecco or glittery orange juice or oh, that's any cool. of those things. So again, I like to do all of my vinyl layering. Oh, so you're not weeding the donut before you layer. So you just have to really look for those cut lines. And mm -hmm. actually, you can see them pretty you can see clearly. Here really easily. So I can pop that transfer tape down, peel it away. And then I would weed Aww. out that panel 
so that all of my donuts are on there. Now, I want a bit more spacing on here, but you could use a larger piece of transfer tape and put them just straight on there like that. But again, you're just gonna rub and lift. Now, let's say you're not, a, I don't know why you wouldn't be, but let's say you're not a sparkly donut person. Mm -hmm. You could obviously use plain vinyl. And I know we can see here, there are a whole bunch of different textures that you can exactly. use. I particularly like the wood grain, I have mm -hmm. to confess. Um, but lots of different stuff so that you can get exact, although a wood grain donut would be weird, but maybe for some <laughs> other things. <laughs> yeah, so you can get glittery, you can get opal, you can get chalkboard finish, you can use it like a chalkboard. Oh, that would be so cool. You can get neon finishes, you can get ones that look like glass etching. I mean, they're literally anything you can think You're of. You're going to make me very vinyl. poor because <laughs> <laughs> I want all the things. So there you are. And then I'm going to now add those details that you can see in that one, which is, this is some paste that has confetti already put into it. And then just with oh, a paintbrush. OMG, I want big confetti paste too. You can add your sprinkles on. Now, of course, you could add glue and then put beads on top, mm -hmm. sequins. Um, I mean, you can even get beads that look like sprinkles and things. So you so really cool. can. And you can color coordinate it. And obviously because we use sparkly vinyl, maybe that's why you want to use the sparkly huge sequin glitter thing. I mean, actually, I feel like you can make your own because you could take a clear gel medium. Exactly. And you could put glitter or sequins or whatever you right. wanted into it. So you can completely customize. So no matter what you're doing, if you wanted to add texture to your pumpkins, you could use a modeling paste or a texture paste. And oh, you could paint yeah. that on top as well. And of course, the pumpkin is textured vinyl, right? Yes. So that's so cool because you already have the texture. You don't even have to do that right. step. That's really so, awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, the other thing that I really like is just some of the coordination, because if we look at the finished one, mm -hmm. the way design-wise that you have three, which is beautiful, and then the finished donut, Alexandra, you're so good. This has been great. Thanks, Julie. Thank you so much. <laughs>